first assistant uh, took a head job over at Cassidy, and uh, Coach Griffin and I have known each other for quite some time. And um, I just reached out to him after this summer at Coach's Clinic and uh, asked him would he be interested because I knew he retired over from Midwest City, and and uh, it was grateful that he said that he would love to come over and help, and, and it's been a great asset to our to our program, and definitely to our kids. We're still standing around. We got three people over there. One here. That's not gonna get it. You have to understand where you're supposed to be and get there and make that better. Well, I just think that he's, he's always in tune and focused in, in the practice. He's always wanting to get our kids better. Uh, he's been, you know, when you got 42 years of experience and head coaching experience and multiple state championships that he's had, um, he brings a different view to the program and, and to practice of uh, intensity, discipline, and uh, making sure these kids stay accountable. Coach Griffin's a great coach. He, uh, he teaches us, um, he, he really emphasizes the fundamentals, uh, defense, uh, box, boxing out, you know, just the experience he brings to the table is just is unmatched by any coach, in my opinion. He's added a lot of fundamental things. You know, he just taught us to play smart, make smart plays. Well, he had mentioned it before that he would love to have the opportunity to work with me. And I said, I, I would think about it. And after a while, I guess it was like maybe four or five, well, I don't remember, five, six years ago that he had talked to me about it. And uh, like I said, I respect him because of what he stands for. And he does have a lot of character. And that's, that's, and I shouldn't say it's rare, but it's good to have a person with character that you're working for. Somebody that believes in what they're doing and not gonna try to cheat to achieve anything. Just gonna try to work with what he gets and what he has and making the most of it. Come on, Trey, bring this way. All right, now go to a wing. All right, now, one, two, three, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. So we do a lot of collaboration, all the coaches, and that, that's good because you want to be able to talk it out. And he's kind of relying on uh, Coach uh, Pendergrass and myself. We've had the experience before, and he's letting us kind of help him to grow, and he's helping us to grow. I mean, no matter how many years you've had, you still grow if you just have an open mind. The most important thing is that I, I respect what he, what he stands for. Uh, there are a lot of coaches out there, but the, you have to have respect for the guy that you're working for. And I think he's on the right track with his kids. I think the kids respect him, and I think if they understand where he's coming from, the sky's the limit. You know, our expectations don't change. You know, our expectations last year was to, to get to a state tournament, and uh, we were one game short to get there and try to try to uh, push for a gold ball. And our expectations are this year is to try to win a championship. You know, uh, I think we have a, a good group of kids that are capable of going out there and competing for a, for a gold ball. But, you know, uh, 6A is tough. There's a lot of good teams out there, and we just got to make sure we take one game at a time and, 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 and play smart and play together. And, and as long as we continue to keep playing together and, and playing as a team, I think we'll be, we'll, we'll be tough to stop. Definitely, it's been night and day since uh, last year. You know, we had a good bunch of kids last year, but having a lot of those kids return this year has been a big help and big asset to practice because we're able to move from drill to drill. The kids are understanding terminology, and we've actually been able to even advance a little more this year and some of the things that we did last year. So it's been it's been a good transition having that second year under your belt, you know, but uh, we're just, you know, our, our kids are excited. You know, when you got a good group of kids that are excited and willing to learn, it makes practice go a lot better. I mean, it's, it's been pretty good. Last year, you know, it was not as good as this year, but it's, it's gotten better. This year, being the second year, we've been able to go a little bit more in-depth into, you know, the offenses, defenses. Uh, he's been implementing more, you know, into our uh, motion offense, man offense, just, I mean, everything is more in depth than last year. We've been just getting uh, more adjusted to it. Uh, well, of course, you know, Kern Scott has been uh, one of our leading scorers that's returned from last year, and he's a junior uh, that's going to do a remarkable job this year. You know, he's got a really good work ethic. He's uh, put a lot of time in the gym this summer and even during school years of in the mornings, getting a lot of shots up and just wanting to understand and wanting to get better. Uh, it's become a lot coachable. Um, Daquan Jeffries is also another kid that's really grown up and matured this year, playing in the inside. He's another junior. Uh, he's, he's real athletic. Uh, I think with Coach Griffin here helping him, he's going to be able to help him get, you know, those extra four to six extra points and, and, and working on just some footwork and technique. And then, um, you know, our, our transfer guard we got in, Dexter Dean uh, from Putnam City, I think is going to be a kid that's going to be able to help us be kind of like that X-Factor kid. Uh, he's 
Yeah, varsity experience. Uh, he's, 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 I think, but I'm, if I'm not mistaken, he was a starter for Putnam City for three years. And so he comes over with a lot of experience, a lot of confidence. Uh, so, you know, those three guys right there. And uh, we've had, you know, even Deron Mims, uh, another junior that came off the bench. He's our second leading scorer from last year. Uh, does a good job of uh, defend, defending players, uh, rebounding. Um, you know, he's one of those kids that he can he can roll off six to eight points in a row just if he starts really, you know, getting going on his defensive end. So, you know, we're, we're blessed to have some kids that, that, that compete, to have some depth, and, uh, and I think that's what's make practice so competitive. This could be a great year, and but it all depends on three things. One, if we can stay healthy. Two, how much the kids want to put into it, because if they don't want to put a lot into it, you can't get a lot out of it. And the third thing is just staying with our nose to the grind. Never ever getting satisfied with just having a couple of victories. You know, to get better, not lose many games and win a championship. Play together. Anything less than a championship is a disappointment. 